Hi, I'm Ashley here at Dunrovin Ranch in Lolo, Montana. Um, as part of our Monday social today, James and I are doing a little test run of uh, using the Zoom video chat on my phone to do kind of more close up and uh, point of view type videos. So today we just wanted to do a little um, run through of it and I figured I would do a tack room tour for you guys. So I'm standing in our tack room right now. Um, it's quite spacious. We have this little like front section here. There's a like a countertop and a sink. And then um, I have all the bridles behind me. And then off to the side, you can see we keep our helmets and we have some shelving here for when we used to have um, like the equestrian clubs and everyone would bring their own tack and set them on the shelves. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my camera here and switch it around and show you what's going on. So this is our workstation. Uh, we have a nice little counter here. And when we do uh, like events like the equine art extravaganza, we can have food sitting out on the counter and drinks and things like that. We have some rain slickers for riding in the weather, um, bad weather. And down here is a bunch of extra equipment. So like we have some office supplies in the top, um, some extra leathers and, and strings and things like that that are necessary for when you have as many saddles as we do. Uh, some extra grooming supplies. These are general um, tools. We've got like leather working tools, um, you know, good old duct tape, some more office supplies and some grooming supplies down here, like our fly spray, our mane and tail, um, detangling kind of stuff, Suzanne's personal equipment and cleaning supplies. This cabinet is very, very important. Um, this is our medical supplies cabinet. So we have everything from wound and skin care to um, a bunch of big bottles of fly spray. We have some different healing uh, ointments. Um, this one we use a lot, SWAT. This is what keeps the flies off of uh, wounds and also helps them heal up. I put that on Gertie's eye and also Jasper's nose when um, he gets a little bump on it. But um, that way it's all easy to access and it's right here for us to grab stuff, especially in an emergency. Uh, we do have some first aid kits down on the bottom here, both for people and for horses. And then some like uh, trail riding gear. So we've got like sunblock and lotion, um, some lunch boxes. And I guess just miscellaneous stuff in there. Cold water when we have events. Um, this is going to be all of our uh, trail riding supplies. So all of the um, saddlebags and extra equipment for that. All of our bridles, um, they're all labeled for each horse's name. So some of the horses we don't have here anymore, but we still have their bridles. Uh, we could eventually clean those up and either use them for other horses or um, sell them later. We have all of our equipment. Um, I went through these documents and updated them. So we have um, a list of what horses uh, we use what saddle pads and also what saddle to keep it really organized and also a list of all of their birthdays. So I'll take a picture of this and post it on um, the days at Dunrovin um, like main chat. So that way we can all see it. I think whose birthday's up next. Looks like Raz is up next October 4th and then followed by Miss Maud October 6th. And then Canner is going to be on Halloween. So we've got a couple birthdays coming up. Maybe we'll have to do another broadcast of uh, birthdays with some carrot cake for the horses. Um, a couple weeks ago, I went through the tack room because it was kind of a disaster, not going to lie. So organized up all these like rope bridles because um, we have all these little storage boxes. So just kind of organized things, labeled it. Easy to find. Um, this is where we keep our saddles. As you can see, we have quite a bit of them. Each horse requires different saddle fitting needs and you gotta have a lot of saddles and the saddle pads. Um, this is a bucket that I haven't gotten to yet because I'm not sure where else would be a good spot for everything. But the blue thing on top is that bareback pad that I ride Raz with. And we've also got some other nicer leather halters back here. But um, it's quite organized for a small little space because um, we don't have, you know, too much extra equipment that we don't need. But that's the tack room. See you next time.
That was great. <laughs> that was fun. Good job. Okay. Um, so yeah, I just made a recording of that and had a chance to try to get some of my other video bugs worked out, but you can, uh, come on back here if you like, and I can show you what we did. Great. Now I want to go ride. Yeah. <laughs>